Hey guys and what is up, Inspire here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. In this video today, I'm gonna show you how to install the MSI Afterburner so we can do some overclockings on our GPUs um, to get some more mega hash out of the cards. As you can see, I have my gaming rig here. Um, at the moment, in the gaming rig, I have a 3060 Ti and a 1070, um, 1070 GTX here. Um, if you're a gamer and you're not mining, maybe you should think about just uh, mining on your off time when you're not gaming. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the computer so we can install and download the MSI Afterburner. Okay, so now we're in the computer. Um, as you can see, I've already loaded up the MSI Afterburner page. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and you can just go to it and just download it from there. So once you're in the page here, um, you, all you need to do is just click the download Afterburner here. So I'm just gonna click it and get it downloaded. Okay, so once it opens up, you can save it um, in your downloads folder where I'm gonna save my zip. All right, I'm gonna save this in the downloads folder. Once the file has finished download, you can just minimize this page and then go to your downloads folder on your desktop or wherever you save the file. Once you open it up, you should have a file or a zip file um, that's called MSI Afterburner setup. All you have to do is double click on it. Once that opens up, it will open up the um, the file within that zip file. So all you need to do now is just drag that out onto your desktop. Okay, so once that's out of the desktop, you can just close all this page and now you can run the actual installation. And then you can click next on this wizard. License and agreement, just I accept the terms. All you need to do is install MSI Afterburner so you can untick this river tuner. Once you've done that, you click next. Find a destination on where you want to install the actual program. I'm going to click next. And same thing after here, all you need to do now is click installed. Since I have the program already installed, I'm just gonna quickly cancel this out and then open up the program for you. Okay, once you have MSI Afterburner installed and opened, it's gonna look something like this. Um, you can see here the actual program here. You've got core clocks, you have memory clocks, you have power limit, you have your temp limit, and you also have your fan speed. So first off, I'm just gonna quickly open up my TRX Miner. And if you haven't seen my last video, I showed you how to install TRX Miner on Windows 10. So I'm gonna just quickly run, run TRX Miner and show you what a 3060 Ti and a 1070 is mining at, at normal speed, okay? As, a, as in it hasn't been overclocked yet or I haven't played with anything of the clock. So it's just um, a plug-in, a play, and then we see um, the actual hash rate, okay? So um, I'm just gonna open up TRX Miner now and show you guys that. Okay, so as you see, TRX Miner is up and it's been mining for about five minutes now. And as you can see that um, the stock, um, the non-overclock cards, the, gear, the 3060 Ti is getting about 52.18 mega hash and the 70 and the 1070 sorry is getting 2279 so i'm going to quickly play around um, with the settings here to try to see what i can get uh, for my 3070 for not my 3070 sorry for my 3060 ti's um, i'm just going to quickly play around with the clock cores the memory core my power limit and my fan speed so first off what i really like to do is drop my power limit from 100% to 60%. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop it down to 60%, hit enter. And then I'm gonna quickly apply it and see who, um, what happens to the card. As you can see, just dropping the power limit to 60% from before the power was at 210 watts at stock. Um, when I dropped it down to 60%, you can see that it's only at 143 watts now which is pretty good. And also not just that, you can see the temperature. Um, it was 61 Celsius here. And when we dropped down, it's sitting about 52 
and 51 um, degrees Celsius. So that's that's pretty good because they're giving it less power and it's not getting as as hot. So now we're going to quickly play around with the core clocks and the memory clocks to try to push um, this card to about 60 60 mega hash. Or uh, like I've seen some people get about 60 to 63 mega hash. I'm just going to see um, what my card can get because as you know, um, every card is different. You know, um, it's it's silicon lottery. You know, um, some people might have better cards than what you get. Um, it just depends. Um, all cards are different. So guys, before you guys do any clocking or uh, do any overclocking, um, just do a lot of research first and just take it. Um, take this as entertainment purposes only and just do it at your own risk okay um, so yeah so I'm going to quickly play around with the clocks and then we'll see what we can reach okay so in core clocks I've seen people do minus 500 so I'm going to try to do that as well minus 500 memory clock I've seen people do about 1300 okay so that's plus 1300 um, fan speed People like to live at 60, but um, I like to do about 70% 70, 70 fan speed, okay? So once you put your clocks um, into MSI Afterburner, all you have to do is tick this, all right? Just to apply it. This is how you apply the clocks, okay? So I'm gonna apply the clock now and see what mega hash we can get. All right, as you can see now, <clears throat> With the normal, with no clocking at all, you can see how this is still 52.95 at 52 degrees Celsius. Once I applied the clock, it jumped to 58.27, and the degrees it even dropped to 50 degrees. And then when I left it for a bit, bit longer, um, you can see that now it's reached its maximum um, mega hash at 62, 62.37, and it's at 49 degrees Celsius um, you can see down here it's it's pretty stable now at 62.37 62.37 62.37 um, 48 degrees Celsius so yeah so this clock um, I like to use these clocks on the 3060 Ti's but just a reminder guys um, do your own research and do your own um, clocks um, on your own card um, do it at your own risk guys um, as you know that all cards are different um, your card might hit 63 mega hash your card might hit 60 mega hash but as I said you know it's all different um, play around with the clocks the cores the power limits um, the fan speed and then you can you can yet see how the clocks are on your graphics card okay well guys, thank you so much for um, watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if this helped you guys out. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out live. Thanks guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.